good yeah it's your brother Monte with another video as you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail today i will be revealing my slashing badges but as a bonus i will also be showing you guys my entire dunk package in this video so for the people who made my two-way slashing playmaker you guys can you feel me get closer to creating the build as close as uh, how i did mine basically and as you guys can see for the first game of today that i'm showing some gameplay we're going against what it looks like the i wet clan so shout out to the i wet clan we about to have a crazy game let's get into it now hold on who remembers this dunk Ace. <gasps> i jumped over him oh my god oh my god one hit that like button if you guys remember that dunk which was my first ever jump over somebody dunk and also hit that like button if my reactions be crazy bro like every time i do something wild i be tripping like on a live commentary bro but that dunk right there is the reason for the purpose of this video um i said the reason for the purpose of this video like what do, what do i be talking about sometimes bro that right there was the purpose of me making this video because when i first uploaded that you guys wanted to know what is your dunk animations and how did you set up your slashing badges now when i get to that screen and explain why i have this and why i have that you guys will understand more because i could just show you right now but i still want to like explain it because y'all gonna have a reason like well what's the point of having this what's the point of having that so you feel me and some of you guys watching are aren't my build some of you guys are actual like you know straight up slashers with way more points than me i think i only have seven finishing points and i'm dunking all over people imagine if i was either more of a slasher or imagine if i did my points better on my build where you feel me i got 10 points because i believe you can get you can get 10 points on my build as well but obviously you guys know it's certain things you got to sacrifice in order to you know get certain points certain places stuff like that but anyway looking into this gameplay you see the score is 6-0 bro now when you have my build basically you can kind of take advantage of a lot of players who made the other builds with no defensive badges for example you see i do a hop step then i go up and i believe that is horrible i believe that he contested it pretty well but it's just like he probably have zero interior defense so it's just like people going up against my bills sometimes are often helpless you feel me and you see he's not guarding me so i take a mid range right there green light green bean shout out to john legend 10 0 you feel me can they get a bucket if i'm not mistaken i think they did get the ball at least once i could be tripping or not i don't know though but got my man's ronnie in the corner brick okay now they got the ball okay bet so they got the ball now he shoots up a shot good defense by rod i got the rebound now let's get this reset now we done this on the last video if i can dunk on this sit like this a this a video about dunking how can i make a video about dunking if i can't dunk on the center so for this game y'all know how we rock 10,000 likes if i can kill this center bruh i want to see it you feel me spam up that like button bro and just off topic bro like all jokes aside bro everybody who support me bro like I i'm od happy bro i'm od grateful as i shoot this green bean i'm od grateful to have you guys and i got tape so i just want y'all to know i'm very grateful for the tsl gang and real soon i got something coming for y'all real special you feel me as my teammate get ripped and they get the ball and then he walk out of bounds we, we got some little some little little starter john to the little young merch you feel me hit that like button if you would buy merch any merch any type of merch i drop let me know in the comment section like just comment yes we want merch now as you guys can see 15 to 0 i do the kobe sobs up behind the back he's under the basket kill he's dead look at him look at him he's done 17 to zip he's struggling to get up i ain't gonna lie i'm a hey we're gonna try to go for that thing two times so hey we got that contact dunk i need y'all to go crazy on the like buttons like i was saying merch coming soon you feel me i got a little idea i want to start off with you feel me it's gonna be something light like like it's actually gonna be something light like but i still want to see like if y'all gonna support that but um it's 20 zero my boy rodney just got that green bean hit him with a hezzy he thought i was done i want another contact dunk you feel me 22 zero big ggs to this i wet squad you feel me y'all goats you feel me it's only entertainment i definitely just went crazy now let's just jump into this game too and see what we can do bro like i can't just 
you know i can't just you know leave y'all with no type of fire gameplay because look look who pulled up on me bro am i tripping or am i about to play against zion williamson bro like zion you really pulled up and low key if his center wasn't so low overall this would be kind of one of like them toxic lineups where you go against basically a pure lockdown because he got a pure lock basically with the glass lock so it would have been toxic but you feel me little buzzing he, he ain't pull up for nothing with zion bill bro he, he got something to show me so let's see what he got to show now going back into the video topic of we talking about badges so just want to let let me talk on some badges basically of course you guys know in order to dunk on anybody you have to have contact finisher whatever your build is you can't really get those contact dunks without contact finisher so obviously you guys know that and i'm only doing it with gold contact finisher so imagine somebody like i said that's an actual slasher and get that hall of fame like y'all gonna be dunking way crazy but you definitely need contact finisher now something sneaky like i'm gonna let y'all look for yourself but something sneaky to throw out there that i think people don't be thinking is worth it relentless finisher is a worth it badge when it comes to dunking because think about it as you dribble or as you turbo down the court all your stamina is dropping you feel me so it's like the relentless finisher gives you an opportunity to still have some juice while your stamina is low if that makes sense so it's like it's helping you while you tired so it helps you dunk that's what i've noticed you feel me when putting that badge on now i'm sure it's a lot of people out there who see that it's a lot of badges in the game that you don't even know if it works like what is what is that badge called why not slippery off ball it's like oh slithery finisher slithery finisher is supposed to be a badge that helps you contact dunk even more or just dunk even more period because it says avoid contact and what they mean by avoid contact they don't mean avoid contact as far as like when you're going up like as far as like being in front of somebody they talking about like just just not having a person being able to grab your body if that makes sense so if i'm in front and they behind me that that's that slithery finisher should make me avoid the contact so i can have a clean go up a clean finish if that makes sense but when i use that badge it don't appear slithery don't pop up but it's still working so that was the initial thing that mike wayne said we needed as far as the dunk on people he said it was just contact finisher a combo of that and slithery finisher but i can tell you guys today i don't oh my god look at the dunks i'm doing oh my i don't have on um i don't have slithery finisher equipped it and like i said when i did have it i didn't feel any difference truthfully you feel me and obviously the badge don't pop up so it also make you think it don't work but all the dunks you guys have seen me get like the one i just got i don't have the badge on so i guess that theory you feel me i don't know if i would get more dunks or dunk better with it but i'm just letting y'all know i don't have it on so all you need is contact finisher i would recommend getting a uh, relentless finisher and then it's one more badge that's fire but we gonna get into that when it's time to reveal the badges but as of right now for zion is looking bad man it's 13-0 bro like y'all know me straight iso getting to the bag you feel me rocking the pink in this video you feel me for the breast cancer awareness you feel me big supports to that i hope you guys are supporting that too i'm gonna show my support you know i got the, the pink foams in case you guys want to know what's on the feet with the pink backpack and the sideline pink too so shout out to y'all for supporting that cause but it's 15 0 zion you're basically what, is, what was he a 90 something lock i'm dropping buckets on that boy zion you feel me but shout outs to zion for pulling up it's 17 zip it's not looking too good for my boy zaza you feel me it ain't looking too good but i ain't gonna lie zion and uh lonzo looking good in real life right now like that's a fire combo i can't lie and look at me missing that layup i ain't gonna lie i did let that go very early but i do recover play my defense y'all know me man both sides of the ball both sides of the field <sighs> oh i tried to go for that contact dunk but he blocked it i tried to do that for y'all man i tried to do that for y'all he is 60 he blocked me and i got the ball back like can i try again like i'm trying to kill i want another contact dunk but hey that goes to show you bro you have to keep practicing and learning the defensive positioning in order to know when you can perform a contact dunk it's not gonna be like as you guys see me i'm just running in there and just thinking you're gonna get a contact dunk it's not that easy especially with only having gold slashing badges like me so it's gonna take practice because i even have a move where i normally get a contact dunk off of doing like a hop step into the paint 
but it's like I gotta keep practicing the timing. So as I keep playing, I'ma keep getting better. But with the score being 20 to zero, y'all see that boy Zion tried to challenge me. I'm about to go ahead and end him with the ISO. I hope y'all liking the new SIGs. Hope y'all enjoying this video so far. Oh, give me that poke ball loose, boy. But like I was saying, as the game about to end, we about to finally get into the, you feel me, the dunk cigs. Y'all been asking, what is my dunk packages? What is the badges? So the, today's video, like I said, we're revealing, you feel me, each category. We're going, we going layer by layer. We doing the slashing badges. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, if you guys let me know in the comment section, we'll do another category of badges. We could do shooting badges if y'all want to see how those set up. So you feel me? Um, let's get into these slashing joints though, you feel me? GG's to the team we just played against, all GG's to everybody, let's get it. Alright, so let's actually get into these badges, what you guys came here for. So you guys can see I have seven finishing badges. Now, contact finisher is the number one badge that you need to have in order to get contact dunks. I would recommend to get relentless finisher and you can even, y'all see I got fancy footwork because I like to do what you see it consider of euro steps, cradles, hop steps, like I like to do that a lot. So you feel me, I keep fancy footwork on gold. But today I'm thinking about testing Relentless Finisher on gold because you see what it does. It helps you contact dunk. It says reduce the fatigue effect from continually finishing at the rim with contact. So you have a chance to finish more. I might get more contact dunks having this gold. So I'm going to actually test that, bro. But my normal setup was like this. You feel me? That at gold and that right there. But you feel me? For today, I'm going to test that and let y'all know how I like it. But that's the finishing badges. Now, for the rest of the badges, for shooting, we already revealed playmaking. We never reveal defense and shooting. So if you guys want videos on that, let me know in the comment section. Comment that below. Which one y'all want next? Shooting or defending badges? You feel me? Let me know. Now, to finish the video off, we got to go to the animations. Y'all got to get the dunk packages. Baseline reverse, windmill baseline. I got the basic 360 on so I can eventually get that contact dunk to make people, you know, fall and like hurt their leg. I got athletic windmills. Leaning. Now, these two leaning the leanings are on because me personally i never jumped over somebody head without having leaning dunks on now somebody in the comment section can tell me y'all jumped over somebody without leaning and then i'll unequip leaning you feel me because that's the only reason why i want it they don't look fire or anything special but they lean and it make you go over top of somebody because it's a lean but if y'all got it without that i'm definitely taking them off but for now we got the leanings on um straight arm tomahawks and then we got the front clutch you know that's like the safest dunk now make sure you actually go purchase these get your alley-oop you have to have on elite contact dunks small contact dunks and pro contact dunks make sure your player has that equipped like i told y'all it was a time where i didn't have these dunks equipped and i thought my player was broken i thought my player was trash i thought i couldn't dunk but that's it though that's all i needed so these my dunks right here hope this helped you guys out hope this make y'all two-way slashing playmakers even better and then y'all got the badges bro so hope you guys enjoyed this banger man look man i just went in the store in the halloween store i can't even rock my pants bro i just brought the halloween skull pants and can't even throw them on bro like so i had to throw i'm done with this bro ggs in the chat man